Well, so I think, uh, I mean, so the meeting has, has just started, so, so many of the results have not yet been uh, presented. Uh, but what we've already heard uh, uh, this morning in the, in the first scientific session is how um, uh, the composition of the, the gut mi microbiome uh, determines the risk of, of developing MS in, in pediatric patients, uh, and also how uh, an imaging biomarker, so-called uh, rim lesion, uh, which represents chronic inflammation around a pre-existing lesion, uh, has, uh, uh, as we already know, uh, implications in terms of disease course. Uh, but what we heard this morning was is that it has uh, uh, implications for diagnosis. It, it, that appears to be a very specific finding for multiple sclerosis, and, and the expectation is that that will uh, be able to be something we can incorporate into diagnostic criteria. Uh, and then what we'll hear later in the meeting uh, are uh, other biomarkers that uh, represent the ongoing disease process uh, that can be used uh, to predict how a patient's going to uh, behave over time, uh, whether they're responding to therapy, uh, and importantly, predicting which therapies they're going to respond to. So there'll be a wide range of, of uh, talks addressing all those various uh, aspects of biomarkers, both uh, fluid uh, biomarkers and imaging biomarkers.